Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll share you how to write to NTFS drive in macOS Mojave and Catalina without using any software. It's very simple. Normally macOS won't allow you to write anything on the NTFS drive. It will allow only to read from that drive. So you cannot copy it and you cannot create a folder in an NTFS drive while well, you are connected that NDFS drive into macOS. There is third party tool available in the market, but it's not free. You need to pay for the software. So I'll show you how to do it without using any software. So you can see in the desktop, I have connected my USB drive, which is named as data so you need to note it down the name of the drive which needs to be used while we are creating the script so i'm just right clicking this and uh, click on get info you can see the file system as ntfs so i'm trying to open it and trying to create any folder it won't show any tab named new folder create a new folder okay and i'm trying to copy any data on it it won't allow you so try to copy the paste option won't come here okay because it is read only so it's not allowing you to write anything on that disk for resolving this issue, we need to edit the FS tab in etc folder. So we need to type two commands for that. First, we need to go to terminal. And we need to type uh, the command. The sudo space nano slash etc slash fs tab this is for editing this fs tab file so it will ask you the administrator password give administrator password then add the second command here and you need to change the name to the name of the USB drive my USB drive name is data you need to type the name of your USB drive then press control O then press enter and uh, for exit press control x so it saved the details then you need to verify again by editing this sudo space nano slash etc slash fs tab so you can see the data are here so press control x for exit then quit the terminal then eject the usb drive and connect it again then you need to click on go click on go to folder type slash volume go then you can see data here open it then right click on it you can see the new folder here it created the new folder and if you want to copy anything here you can copy it here so now it's mounted as writable so it copied the data 
this is how we are mounting an NTFS drive as read and write. That's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Please do subscribe for more videos.